So some previous videos examined creating a workspace and performing basic operations in Perforce. Now let's take a look at how we can modify an existing workspace to change which files are synced between the server and your local machine. So to do this, again, the first thing you're going to want to do is start up P4V. Again, we'll have our dialog, and I'm going to browse for a workspace which I'd like to work on. So let's look at this Project Alpha workspace here and hit OK, and OK to open up that workspace. And once again, we'll be presented with our friendly P4V dialog. Now, if you notice in this example, I've only sunk two depots from the server, namely the Arduino depot and the Australia Bushfire depot. Let's say I need additional files from the server to complete my work. So I need to change this workspace mapping. To do that, come over to the right hand tab and make sure that the workspaces tab is enabled. If it isn't, you can come up here to view and click on workspaces to make sure this tab shows up. Again, find the workspace that you want to modify, in this case it's this project alpha one, and I'm just going to simply right click on this and say edit workspace. And as you can see, what comes up now is the same dialog that we obtained when we first created this workspace. And as you can see right now, I only have the Arduino and the Australia Bushfire Depot uh, marked as being part of this workspace mapping. Now, let's say that I would now like to add some additional files. So for example, what if I would like this mapping depot to be included as well? Well, all you need to do is simply right click on this and say include tree and hit OK. You will notice that you're going to get a little dialog that says uh, get the latest revisions. That's actually what we want to do. So before we do that, I'm going to bring up a file explorer here and look at the workspace root. So again, I'm going to bring up Windows Explorer and we can take a look here and we see that underneath Project Alpha, again, we only have these two depots currently, but as soon as I hit Get Latest, it's going to show that now I have all of these additional files from the depot I just asked to be synced up with my local machine being copied down to my local machine. So this is a pretty simple video showing how you can quickly and easily modify an existing workspace to change which files are synced between the server and your local machine.